Hey everybody, your old buddy Captain Ron here. We are so excited. We are here at Memphis in May. Fogo Charcoal in the Home Depot grilling area. We got so much going on. We're about to get set up, so let us get started and get down to it, baby. Fogo is proud to have been asked to attend Memphis in May, AKA the Super Bowl of Swine. This is one of the largest barbecue competitions anywhere. We were there as part of the Home Depot outdoor kitchen area, and that is where we set up to cook, serve great food, and entertain the crowd. Even Sebastian, Mr. Fogo himself, got right to work setting up that big old Weber Rancher grill. Man, what is going on here? I'm just supposed to be the pretty face around here. It takes a dream team to pull off something like this, and that's exactly what we brought. There was so much to carry that even Juan the photographer and only Chad helped me carry charcoal, reservoir dog style. Which one is Mr. Pink, though? We wanted to make sure that everything looked perfect because we knew that we would have some of the top pit masters in the world stopping by. It was a virtual who's who of pit masters and influencers. Can you feel the excitement building? We cleaned out the grocery store and adorned, yes, adorned the grill with fruits and veggies for a real South American grilling extravaganza. We figure, go big or go home. Speaking of big, look who stopped by to say hi. I'm going to give you 45 minutes. You've been doing that. <laughs> and then, like I said, you never know who you're going to meet. You've always got to have somebody to look up to. That's right. C-Mac Cooks, Craig McPherson here cooking for Big Green Egg. Rocking this place. How you doing, Craig? Who am I going to look up to? I don't know. You look up to God. God. I just went by and saw Big Mo Quezon, and I had a call him Little Mo Quezon. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> LaBella. <laughs> While Craig was distracting Lynn and I, Sebastian was hard at work stringing grapes for the grill. Want to see? Will you look at that? In addition to fruits and veggies, we hung entire New York strip primals from our good friends over at Demkota Ranch Beef over to Hot Fogo Charcoal. These babies slow roasted and the smell was enough to make my mouth water right now just thinking about it. Home Depot area, and we are gotten showing off our super premium lump charcoal here, available at all Home Depots. Look at all of this amazing stuff we have cooking on our grill here on this Weber Kettle Rancher. It is amazing. So we are so excited to be here and so excited to be a part of the Home Depot grill area. We added a bunch of jalapeno cheddar sausage just to make sure there was something for everyone to eat. We began by coating the meat in our signature Fogo activated charcoal rub, roasted it, cut steaks off, and finished them with a hot sizzling sear. The crowds loved it and just ate it up, both literally and figuratively. The real treat, though, was the cinnamon and sugar pineapple. After the pineapples hung over the fire, we cut them into spears, coated them, and grilled them for some incredible caramelization. The char really brings out that flavor. You could say that the char is the star. Once it was grilled, we chopped it, served it over vanilla ice cream. That's no easy feat when it's 97 degrees out. We had to work fast, but it went so fast that the ice cream didn't even have a chance to melt. Let's see what Chuck's flavor train and Adventures of a Fat Guy thought. Oh my god! <laughs> Woo -hoo. This one actually fell. This fell on the ground, so I just want to make sure another one just in case. The lines at our booth stayed long from morning to night, and everyone loved it. Wow was the word of the day. First up on the Home Depot stage was our guy, Tuffy Stone. Tuffy has won grand champion titles in nearly every major barbecue competition there is, and he loves to share his knowledge. While Tuffy was doing his thing, only Chad kept the pineapple and ice cream going. Wonderful! Stupendous. Brown sugar. Yep. Cinnamon. Yep. Pineapple. On the grill with fogo charcoal. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, honors reaction here. I don't mind. Really good. Yeah. That's an 11. <laughs> there you amazing. go. <laughs> I like it. Oh, yeah. yeah for sure. Go ahead. Thank you. 11. Good. It's really good. Tied it up. Uh oh. <laughs> there you go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's oh. get it. Let's get it. Wow. <laughs> That's fantastic. 
Oh my! Wow! Come on, I'll give you another one. Just for that, I'll give you another one. Oh my gosh! Thank you! There thank you! Thank you. Thank you. This is delicious. Okay. The nine. Nine? Okay, solid. Solid for nine too. Okay. Just not to. All right, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Oh my god, so good. You can come Yeah, can I have a second one? Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Why not? That's really good. Oh, yes, please. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Very good, very good. That's a lot better than I thought it would be. Delicioso. <laughs> Delicioso. <laughs> Thanks guys. The Memphis in May International Festival and World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest is a five-day event. This year, 129 barbecue teams from 22 states and five foreign countries descended on Liberty Park to see who is the best of the best. It's a lot to see, and it was hot. Okay. Oh, I will. Okay. Mm -hmm. How'd you get a big cup? I was spun it. Man, I want a big cup. Cup, holy moly! Wow, awesome. Y'all having fun yet? Good. Not too bad. It's like 150 degrees out, and I gotta tell you, that sweet tea is killer. Let's go. All right, baby, as I said before, you never know who you're gonna run into in Memphis in May. The man himself, Heath Riles. Heath, great to see you, brother. Ron, how's it going, brother? Oh, man, if I was any better, I'd be you. Yeah, well, Come on, uh, now. What, so, tired and wore out? <laughs> about that, that's where I am now, so. So how's things going here, man? What do you got planned for the weekend? Well, I'm not but about an hour from getting out of here today. I'm going back home. We've trimmed about 70 racks of ribs already. That's kind all? Of, yeah, that's yeah. all. <laughs> kind of worked down to our 24 that we're going to cook for the contest. Cool. But the rest of them we're going to cook tomorrow. Nice. We've got some people coming by, some VIPs. We're going to feed some of those. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, come on by. I will. And, and you know, just kind of run with it. Yeah, we were just talking about uh, YouTube and things like that, and everybody says, oh, it's so easy, right, you know? I think you can test a testament to how not easy it is, right? If people knew uh, how hard it really was and the labor of love that yeah. goes into this and the amount of hours and teamwork and effort. It's not just one person. We couldn't yeah. do it alone. That's Oh, man, no kidding. I mean, thank God for him. Yeah. But, you know, I, I love this. Well, it's only a 15-minute video. What did it take, like an hour? I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> it took me an hour to come up with the thought of how to make the video, you know, right. so. But man, listen, I want to wish you the best of luck here. I know you're going to crush it as always, man. It's always a pleasure meeting you. It won't be from lack of effort, but you know, you got a lot of top cooks out here. And when you're in such a, a crowd like this, yeah. it's, you Anything's know. Anything's possible. And Anything's I'll, possible. I'll tell you, it's the elite of the elite out here. So we just call it the Super Bowl of Swine is what I hear That's everybody say. That's exactly right. Awesome. Thanks, Pete. Thanks. Knock them dead, man. Thank you, brother. All right. I told you it was the best of the best. Congrats on going on to win another first place in the world. Again, you are a true champion, Heath. This is uh, the world championship. And so I'll say it again, anytime you get to walk this stage against this caliber of teams is a damn good day. Meanwhile, things were really heating up in the Home Depot area. I was blown away to be asked to cook a demo for the crowd. I showed just how to trim, prep, and finish off those beautiful Demcoder Ranch strips, caveman style. It always draws a crowd and really gives that wow factor. They now call me Captain Caveman! I think I just dated myself. Hey, thanks to my friend Chris, the barbecue Buddha, for helping me with the cook, by the way. Let me show you how we did it. All right, so we're working with this beautiful Demcoder Ranch New York strip. What we're gonna do is we're gonna clean off a lot of the excess fat and trim off some of this fat cap. We wanna leave some fat equals flavor. We're removing this because this is the tough silver skin on the outside and it doesn't cook down and it won't render. We don't want anything tough on this meat by the time that is done. What you wanna do as you're coming through here is get the knife underneath there and sort of kind of push out as you're doing it so you're not going into the meat. You just wanna strip that long stringy fat off of it like that. There we go, beautiful, okay? And any excess pieces, same thing. Cut off any extra loose hanging pieces like that. You could leave some of this on if you want. I choose not to. We're doing it over live fire, so we don't want too many flare-ups. All right, now that we're all trimmed up, we're gonna coat this in our Fogo activated charcoal rub. It's got activated charcoal in it, which gives it this black flavor and tons of herbs and seasonings. We're gonna load it on here real good and coat the whole thing. Now when you're coating it, 
Coat the whole thing, get every single spot, even the sides like this, okay? You wanna make sure everything is coated for maximum flavor. Now, if you're afraid of the activated charcoal in there, don't be. If you ate something bad and went to the doctor, the first thing it's gonna do is give you activated charcoal caps to draw any poisons out of your system. So, that's where the color comes from this. It's actually good for you. All right, there we go, it's all finished. So what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna hang this over live fire. So I need to get some hooks, I'm gonna hang it, put, set them in the hooks in here, and hang it from a cage over a giant Weber kettle. It's gonna be insane. Hey everybody, say hi to Nick. Hey guys. All right, let's go. And that is how you hang a New York strip roast. Now after tongue for a while, what we're doing is we cut off individual steaks, we hit the inside with a little more seasoning, just for a little bit of that extra fogo flavor, baby. Both sides, hit it for maximum flavor to it again. Then we take it, we got the hot, super premium going on the grill. Boom. Now after about a minute and a half, sear it on that side, we give it a flip, flip that side. Look at that beautiful color, baby. Now, let's see what we got. Ooh, nice and pink, look at that, baby. Who wants some? Look at that, beautiful pink. Nick Ray, everybody, biscuits and briskets. There you go, how's that? Oh, heck yeah. We did all right? You're welcome. There you go, sir. You're welcome, enjoy. We're going fancy right off the board here. Best way to eat steak. In the end, we had a fantastic time at Memphis in May. Once we got in a good Airbnb, it was even better. That's a story for another time though. We saw so many great friends here, like Grill Girl Robin. We doled out steak and ice cream for four full days and we loved it. We had TV stars, the Grill Dads, right next to us in Ninja Kitchen, serving steak and delicious pizza all week long. I can't be sure, but I may have been their number one taster. After all of the smoke cleared, congrats to our friends at The Shed Barbecue for their third grand championship at Memphis in May. I want to say thank you to Home Depot for having us and to Fogo Charcoal for believing in me. I'll see you next year. Captain Ron, 